Hey everyone, thanks so much for coming to watch this video. I'm going to show you this cool kinetic sand that floats. Have you guys ever seen this before? So it is kinetic sand that floats. And the second half of my video is going to be a different brand of kinetic sand called Mad Matter. Have you guys ever heard of this stuff? I actually find it quite a bit softer, so I'm excited to show it to you. Okay, so here we have our kinetic sand that floats. So I love the color of this stuff. This is bright green. And the texture is quite a bit different than your everyday kinetic sand, so you can see how it's a little bit stretchier. And it's kind of sticky a little bit too, so it's definitely different than your average kinetic sand. But of course, this stuff floats, so there's obviously something different in here than the normal kinetic sand. Okay, so let's see if this stuff floats. I'm gonna start out with a little teeny tiny chunk and put it into a ball and see how this works. And there we go, this does in fact float. That is super cool and you'll see when I pick it up here that the water just sort of drips off it. It doesn't even really absorb the water. Very cool stuff for sure, so I'm just going to take a couple of minutes to play with this and the water. So as you can see, this stuff shapes really well, but it is difficult to get out more than your normal kinetic sand as it is sticky, so you just want to make sure that you're aware of that. Okay, let's help our pirate find the treasure in the water. Okay, and for fun, let's see if we can make a floating Coke bottle kinetic sand shape. So because this stuff is so sticky, you want to actually make sure that you spray the inside of your bottle with cooking oil. I did it without cooking oil and it sticks pretty good. So if you want to be successful with this, use some oil. The other thing that I noticed when making this was that these bottles are actually quite big. So I had two bags of this kinetic sand and you'll see that it still isn't enough to fill up one of these Coke bottles. So if, let's say you only have one bag of kinetic sand, you can always make a teeny tiny little Coke bottle with just the bottom and the top, which ends up being actually quite cute. And the fun part is, is that it will still float.
Okay, so there we have our Coke bottle. And of course, let's not forget about the labels that everybody knows. It's Coke. Now, I really love these Diet Coke labels because they're so colorful and they're always different. So I chose this one to match the lime, green, and sand. And I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so the final test of the kinetic sand, will it float, and yes, it looks like it does. So there's the top of our bottle. Okay, so after making a fingerprint or two, check it out you guys, this is pretty cool. So you can fill up your little fingerprints with water. And let's make a third one, and they're like little bowls. Kind of looks like a face. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I thought that was super cool. So lots of fun playing with this floatable kinetic sand. And yes, it is a little bit stickier, but if you're looking for something different, it's definitely something worth getting. So moving on to my next stuff. This is actually similar to kinetic sand, but it's Mad Matter, and it says it's the smartest dough to ever flow and you know what I actually think I prefer this stuff over kinetic sand because it's actually way softer so have you guys ever seen this stuff before I went to go buy kinetic sand at our local store and they were all out but they had this stuff so I thought hey I'm gonna buy it and see what it's like Okay, so this stuff is pretty cool. It almost looks like it's furry. I don't know if you guys can tell that. And it's so soft, you guys. So soft, and obviously this is kinetic sand, so it is sand, but there's something about this stuff that feels really good. So let's pull out some toys and see how well it does with that. So here I have pastel from Tangled. So cute, so you can make some braid shapes. Now this stuff doesn't roll like Play-Doh. So this toy is meant for Play-Doh and it usually just rolls along. So I'll just press it in there, but it does look like it's holding its shape quite well. Okay, and from our Da Vinci set, we have these cute little feet, and I'm gonna see if they work here. Oh, yes they do. Look at those cute little feet stomping along. Now we're climbing up the big mountain. Oh, climb, climb, climb. Hooray, you did it. So, as you can see, this stuff works quite well. Very happy with how that turned out. Arr, says the little pirate. So just like name brand Kinetic Sand, this stuff molds very easily. And, oh, it squish. It squishes very nicely and super soft and doesn't fall apart.
So all in all, I'm very happy with this Mad Matter Smartest Dough to Ever Flow. And here's our cute little princess with her tower and everything. And thank you so much for coming to watch this video. And be sure to make sure you come back and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks!